What's up, everybody? My name is Britt with Media Support Group. Uh, next, we're gonna go over the video router. So in this particular model, this is a Blackmagic 40x40. 40 40. Uh, this demonstration is really gonna dial into this specific manufacturer. There are other ones out there, um, but with our systems, this is the brand that we use in about 95% of our, our jobs. So we are very satisfied the way this does operate. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. So you notice this one does have a nice uh, LCD screen to give us a preview. So when you power this unit on, you'll notice it comes up just like this. Uh, so it tells you your source, uh, which is gonna be your signal. That's gonna be your cameras, um, graphics machines, your replay machine, anything that you're feeding into it is your source. Your destination is any your output. So anything where you're sending that signal to. So if you're sending it to a video screen out in your stadium, if you're sending it to an in-house TV system, um, if you're sending it to a recorder, um, if you're sending it you know, to your replay machine. Uh, so those are gonna be your destinations uh, or your outputs. So what I like to do with using this, uh, this unit is the first thing I'll do is I'll hit this video. And then now you notice that it actually gives me a nice preview of, uh, of what I'm looking at here. So I can see my video coming in. And the next thing I like to do just to verify my sources, uh, I can hit this button SRC. And so what I'll do with this in this mode is I'll just go down the line to look what is actually coming in to my router. Uh, so right now we don't have a whole lot feeding this system um, right here. So you can see this is the output of my switcher. I got two uh, different signals coming into here. So this is showing me everything that's coming into my router. Uh, and then you notice this button that, uh, that is flashing the clear and take. Um, that's asking me if I do want to take that route. So I'm gonna hit clear for now. And so that's what I'll use the source button for is just to verify my sources. You also have this knob as well um, that you can use to go down each of your sources as well. This is a little faster so you see how it's going. Uh, there in order. So I can use that knob as well um, to go find what I'm looking for. Um, these are by default labeled input output. But what's cool about this, once you load up the software, you can go in there and you can actually change the text of the, uh, of these, uh, these readouts right here. So, you know, for instance, if I had a camera that was at, you know, a, a low 50 location in a football stadium, I could hit low 50. Um, I could put the, dire the direction on there, like south, end zone, whatever. Same thing with my outputs too, I can label those as well. Uh, so I'm gonna hit clear here. And then I'll just show you real quick in the menu setting, which you can look at. So if you hit menu, this is where you're gonna adjust your network settings. So in order to get into the software, you'll need to set your network up. And by default, there's the settings there, but I can go in, I can change each one of those depending on my network setup. So I'm gonna go back to uh, menu here. We'll go back to video. So now I'm gonna show you um, how to actually make a route. So I'm gonna find this monitor real quick. Let's see here. I'm just gonna find this. So the same thing with destination, I'm just cycling through and I can find what I'm looking for. So I believe it's this one. I'm gonna change it real quick. Okay, yeah, so you notice it did change there. So for the sake of this example, I'm gonna go ahead and route, reroute that same signal to our monitor here. So what I wanna do, and there's a couple different ways you can operate this router, but the way we teach it here at Media Support Group is we start with our destination or our output. Where do we wanna send our signal? Uh, we've just found out this is uh, the least confusing when it comes to using this router. So what I'll do, I'll start with destination and so I know 21 right here, this is this mod rack mount monitor. So once I find my destination in our typical setup, it would be labeled, you know, rack mount monitor one or, or whatnot. So I can identify it. Next, I'm gonna hit source. This is where I'm gonna go find what I'm looking for, what I wanna route there. So I'm gonna go find my signal. So there's my signal there. Um, and then next, I'm gonna, as you notice, it is flashing. Do I wanna take it? That's what it's, the unit's kind of asking what I want to do. So if I hit take, so there's my signal there. Um, in that instance, I've used it a couple times. You can clear, you can clear out that route. Um, so that's, that's the way we like to teach it. Start with your destination first, you know, whether it's using the knob 
or going through each one of them. So you'll find your output first. Once you find your output, then you wanna hit source, then you wanna hit take. Um, so that's kind of the breakdown on the router. Uh, also, just to let you know, in the settings, you can disable the take um, where it's a two, two, two button push where you can hit select, or you can select destination and then source and it'll automatically switch. But we like to leave it in that default uh, just for the sake of simplicity. But that's a quick overview uh, on the router. Um, that's the 40 by 40. They do have other versions, but typically they're going to operate the exact same. One last thing I did want to teach you uh, and show you as well with this particular router is uh, it does give you the display on your signal type. This is very useful um, if you are troubleshooting issues to make sure your signal type is all matching where it needs to. It does give you the signal uh, readout. The other real cool thing about this um, that I don't think a lot of people do know about, but on this 40 by 40 unit, you can actually lock your routes. So this is very useful for us when we go install because when we go uh, install the system and we get everything routed where it should be. At that point, you're more, you're mainly just turning the gear off. Once you um, gear on and off. Once you get this set, it's not something you really have to be operating uh, during a production. It's uh, this is all going to be pre-production. Could even be pre-season, depending on uh, how many elements you're bringing in, how many signals, and the different events that you're hosting. So. This uh, lock feature is very useful because once we get everything set, we can lock it down and we know uh, when the end user goes in to turn everything on that everything's gonna work, it's gonna show up where it needs to. So what you wanna do is once you have your route set up, you wanna hold the, uh, the, D the DST button, your destination. You wanna hold that down for about four or five seconds. As you notice, this lock comes up and that's showing me that that route is locked now. Like I can't, I can't actually change it once I lock it. Um, what's really cool about it is that you can change certain routes. So let's just say for your camera inputs, you did want to leave those open because, because if you're routing different cameras at different places, but let's just say for what you're feeding to your video screen, you definitely want to lock that down. We want program there 100% of the time. That's a good one to lock down. So just very cool feature in this 40 by 40. Um, like I said, if you do have the other models, it operates very, very similar. I don't believe that feature is uh, available in those lower models, but everything else, it operates the exact same. The software is the exact same as well. Uh, so that's just a quick overview on the uh, Blackmagic Smart Hub 40x40.